How's it going everyone on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been a while, but today I'm looking at my new uh, phone. We've got the OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, really excited about this. Um, I've always been uh, a Samsung guy for a while. I've been on the Note 8, but I recently smashed my phone. So um, I've got this new OnePlus 7 Pro to give it a go, and um, it's my first OnePlus, so I'm quite excited. So let's just kick off with the uh, unboxing, and then I'm going to go on to the top 10 things that I like about this phone and why you should buy it. classic OnePlus 7 Pro uh, white and red box. Let's just uh, open it up here. There we go. So now I have just uh, unboxed it to make sure it's all working and all that. Now you are presented with the OnePlus red um, box and uh, you can see it says OnePlus there. So we're just going to open up the top there and that will be your instruction manuals and all that. Inside you'll see we've got the um, actual phone itself and it's a little never settle uh, case, a uh, little uh, bag there, so I'm just going to open that to the side, put that there, okay, now inside you will see we've got the uh, warp charge uh, cable there, and we've also got, um, oh that's the, uh, be the charger under there, we've got the warp charge uh, cable which is really cool, it's the new 30 watt charger that they're doing, so if I just open this up, and then you can see UK mains power adapter, because this is the UK version, so the UK mains power adapter um, comes with uh, the warp charge, I think it says, yeah, it says warp charge there on the uh, front there, and then you've got the red USB um, insert, and then we've got the actual cable itself, so that's the red um, cable type C. Now, from what I understand is this is the, pretty much the same cable as the original dash charger so if you do want to use that same cable for another charger then you can do um, but the charger itself has to be a warp charge 30 one to make sure it actually gets, gets you the speed so you get these little rubber dinghies on it and um, you get the actual cable with all sorts of stuff uh, inside the packet let's see what we've got so it's going to open up this uh, so it's got some uh, little uh, little insert here, you get a case, which is always good to see, um, created together with our community, it's got some, um, now I've got the Chinese text on there, so not sure what it says, but you know, you've got that on there, um, you have the, I'm guessing this is the instruction manual booklet, uh, see what we've got, we've got the OnePlus 7 um, Never Settle card, which gives you the opening for the SIM card, and then we've got that, we've got the Go beyond, I think this is like the quick start guide, different um, languages on there that you can read it through, really cool stuff. Um, I think this is just warranty information. Um, yep, yeah, it's all in Chinese, I don't understand what that says. Never settle uh, sticker, pretty cool. And that's it, then you also get a clear, uh, nice clear uh, case that you can stick it on straight away so you're not without a case you know, in case you drop it because it is a really nice looking phone. So just put this over here and then um, we'll have a look at the phone itself. So you get it in this nice little baggie. Um, so let's see if I can just slide it out of the bag. Oh, we have to open it. Let's open it. There we go. Okay, there we are. So here's the phone itself and it's um, really nice. I've got it in that nebula blue that they call it. Really nice looking colour. You've got metal uh, borders around the edges in um, blue and you also have the nice gradient blue there. So it's like a dark blue at the top, goes to a light blue and it's got a really cool shimmer. Now it's a, it is a glass back but it's got a satin glass um, feel to it. It looks, feels really nice. A bit different than what you normally see on your typical iPhone or your Samsung at the minute. Um, so let's just uh, turn this on. Ooh. There we go. Very, very cool stuff. It's got the OnePlus logo on boot. Um, I really like the look of it. Uh, it's got the triple camera on the back there. You've got your uh, flash there. You've got the OnePlus logo pop up camera there. Um, you know, you've got the uh, off, uh, on off switch. Um, I've already set this up so we can just go straight in and just see what we're working with here really cool and it's absolutely quick it's the quickest phone i've ever used it's, it's brilliant 
Okay, so we'll pop that down there. Now, I'm gonna go through the top 10 things that you need to know about the OnePlus and why you should buy it, in my opinion anyway. So here we go, first things first is the price of this thing. Now, I've heard a lot of people moaning saying, oh, OnePlus should be, you know, the cheap phone, it should be the flagship killer and all that, but I still think this is a cheap phone in this day and age. Like, I know it's the Pro version, if you want something cheaper than go for the normal OnePlus 7. But the OnePlus 7 Pro, it's, um, you're getting a bit more, and it's still cheaper in my opinion than its uh, competitors like it's, it's aiming for. So you look at the Samsung Note, uh, not Samsung Note, sorry, the Samsung S10 Plus at 250 gig, because this is an 8 gig, 250 gig version, and you're still looking at about 800, 900 pounds. It's very expensive. The iPhone, you don't even start on that, you're looking at over a thousand pounds. So it's very expensive. But this is 650 pounds, which I got it for, and it's an absolute bargain for that, for the specs you get in there. So that's one thing you need to consider. Another thing is the screen. You're getting the 3K OLED, absolutely rapid screen, very, very quick. It's really, really good. And it's hard to explain a 90 hertz screen until you see it in person, because you're not going to see it on the actual video itself. So um, 90 hertz, very, very quick. It, everything just makes it seem fluid. And that 8 gig of RAM really helps keep all the um, stuff open um, in the background, you know, you can go from app to app, it's absolutely rapid. Another thing that I want to talk about, which moves me on to my next point after the screen, would be the storage. Now it's quite an underrated feature, but it's got the, I think it's called UFS or UHS 3.0 storage. And what that means is the 250 gig onboard storage that you've got is like 20 times faster than the actual normal storage. It's absolutely rapid. Uh, so that means you're loading of your apps, you're closing, um, loading games, um, just general day-to-day -day use, anything that uses loading. It's like having an SSD, PCI, NVMe, SSD in your PC. It makes everything a lot more quicker and it's a very underrated feature and I'm glad they've gone with it. Same thing that you've got in Samsung at the moment. So that's one thing to consider. Another thing is, the, second, uh, the next point would be the camera. Now the camera is really good, 48 megapixel. Uh, but you might want to see there, but it's got like the OnePlus zoom and it's got three cameras on the back. So you've got the OnePlus zoom, you've got the ultra wide angle, which is really, really cool. It turns into a GoPro, but it's got lens correction, so you don't get that fisheye effect. And you've got the macro zoom in there, so you can see the Dyson over there. It works really, really well, and I'm very impressed with that. Um, and, and it, of course, it's got its party piece, is that cool. Um, pop-up camera that it's got there, which I think is absolutely brilliant and I like the cool little robotic noise that it makes every time it opens up and you can just listen to that all day long. And it has got drop detection, um, so if you are dropping it with the pop-up camera open, then it will save itself, which is a very cool feature. So that's another thing. Uh, the next thing I think is another underrated feature. One thing that Android absolutely sucks at, and all Android phones are like this, is the haptic feedback. The vibration sensors in Android phones are absolutely rubbish, the vibration motors. That's one thing that Apple does right and it does it really well. Now, the OnePlus, until you've used it, an iPhone, with that haptic feedback, and use it every day. I use my messaging, I absolutely use it all the time um, to do texting and I like having good haptic feedback. The iPhone is the best one at it, bar none. Um, the, the next closest on Android would be this phone. The haptic feedback have done a really good job with it. It's like 200 times like, stronger than any other Android, than its previous uh, device, than the previous OnePlus. And it's a really good, strong, positive feedback. You can feel the depth to it. You can feel little tiny um, subtleties when you type in it. You can control the uh, strength of it as well. And it's a really, really good feature to have in a, in a phone. And it just adds to the uh, experience of of using the phone and that is an underrated feature but it's, if you want if you're coming from an iPhone and you want good optic feedback this is definitely the phone to go. The next thing would be the Dolby Atmos speakers which are really really good. So if I'm just loading up like a quick 4K video test here um, the, the you know the um, the screen quality is absolutely spot on there is this is on like max volume now that's on max volume and the screen quality is absolutely phenomenal and with them tiny little bezels makes it look amazing as well. Really, really cool stuff. I love that. And when you're looking at it at night and you're in bed, um, it's, it's awesome. So that's really cool. Um, what we'll do next as well, the waterproofing. Now everyone's saying, and they even say it themselves, that it hasn't got official IP68 or 67, whatever it is, waterproof. But that's because 
they've even said themselves that to get that rating, you have to actually pay um, to get it done. And it's going to bump up the price of the phone like an extra 30 quid. But that's not to say that this phone isn't waterproof. Now, if you look at the MKBHD videos and Dave Lee videos, they've done tests on this and it is actually a waterproof phone. And I can prove it to you that they've actually tried to do it. If I open up the bottom here and then you let out the SIM tray, you can see there there's a little tiny red gasket to stop water from going in. So they have actually thought about it, you know, they're not just like saying it and then not done anything about it. They are, it is genuinely water resistant. Now I'm not going to recommend you throw, go diving with it or anything like that, but if you do have a quick splash in the toilet or the bath, or the bath it's probably going to survive, which is all you really need it for. Um, I love this. Again, if you're coming from an iPhone, um, this is a good feature to have. It's the silent switch. So, um, you know, you've got first click, you've got the vibrating it, it gives you that little nice haptic feedback so you know you're getting that, you know, uh, vibration mode on and then the next one is silent and back to vibrate and then back to ring. That's one thing I missed from my first ever iPhone which is the 3GS and I've been Android ever since but that's a really cool feature, I really like that. Uh, next feature is where we're up to uh, the warp charge. The warp charge is, uh, I mean, one thing it hasn't got is wireless charging. And I used to use wireless charging a lot on my Note 8 before I smashed it. And it's, you know, it's, it's good to have before you go to bed, put it on wireless charge, dead easy. But in reality, wireless charge is really slow and it generates a lot of heat as well. But the warp charge, I don't really miss having wireless charging with warp charge. It is, this thing is absolutely brilliant. It's so quick. Like, I was on, when I first used this phone, I was on 5% uh, because I've been using it all day. I chucked it on warp charge, um, warp charge with the uh, cable and went for a shower. 15 minutes later, I'm already at 50%. It's absolutely brilliant. And then, you know, it, I can find myself changing my charging habits as well. Like, you don't have to put it in charge before you go to bed and wake up and it's at 100%. You can charge it, like, at work on your, I don't know, your fan break for 10 minutes and come back and it's pretty much fully charged. Really cool stuff. Um, and the last thing is, it's just absolutely rapid. I mean, going through apps between this, I'll just show you now. You can have a look over my shoulder, going up YouTube, going up camera. It's loaded up, like, it's going games, all right, let's load up Hearthstone. Um, yeah, it's got that like, game mode as well, which I'm probably not going to use. I go that, I go on navigation, let's load up maps, right, okay. Let's go on shopping, let's load up EE, right, it's asking me for fingerprint ID, set that off, right, let's go on WhatsApp, yeah. What else have we got? Let's go on eBay, yeah. Let's go on Auto Trader, yeah. And look how quick it's loading these apps. And let's go we'll go back to one, yeah. Let's go back to one. Asking me for my fingerprint. Let's it's loading there, you know. Back to Maps. Let's have a look. BBC Weather, yeah. Look how quickly it's loading the apps. That's the thing about the storage. The 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 speed of it loads the apps is all about that storage. And it's got that eight gig of RAM on this model, and you can absolutely fly through. The different apps that is absolutely flying through and it's absolutely rapid and it never felt like it's stuttering or slowing down um, so yeah those are my top uh, 10 things that you like about it quick summarize you've got the price you've got the screen 90 hertz OLED you've got the pop-up camera and the cameras in general with the three ultra wide angle stuff you've got the haptic feedback very cool feature you've got the speakers Dolby Atmos you've got the waterproof even though it's not IP rated you're still going to be waterproof you're still safe for that and you've got your silent switch your really quick storage um, speed, warp charge, and just the general fact that it's absolutely a blistering fast phone. Um, thanks for uh, watching my video and quick unboxing, and don't forget to subscribe. And um, got the links down below um, in the description if you want to know where to buy it. Thanks.